welcome to Winter in Chattanooga, where we hike around rainstorms because it's rainy season, so that's what you do. Apparently, everybody else has the same idea because I have never seen this place so full. I mean, you saw when I pulled in that front parking lot. I've never seen a car in it before in my life. And I pulled around to the second parking lot, the back one, that's really like the main one. It's closest to the trailhead, and it's almost completely full. There's like only a couple spots left, so... I think it's going to be really busy. The nice thing about this though is this trail is like really wide and there's actually a few trails that jut off of it and so there's actually a lot of places to go so chances are even though it's super busy we won't see too many people maybe. I want to say hopefully but it's kind of rude isn't it? But at the same time I think we can all agree we go hiking to avoid people right? To an extent at least. I don't know. I'm just waiting for my friends to get here and then we're gonna head out. I have never been here after a rain, like as much rain as we've been getting. Like there's so many, like all these little cliffs over here. Sometimes I have trickles. There's only like one really known waterfall there usually, but this is like every spot has one. And the creek is super high. I mean, you see the trees in the middle of it where the water doesn't usually come. I think it's like twice as high as it normally is. Like, and you hear how loud it is? <laughs> water is just roaring. So, this is definitely a great post-rain hike because there's definitely a lot more water features than normal after a good rain, for sure. And the trail's not bad. As you can see, it's gravel, so it's a little bit wet, but for the most part it's well packed. This is a good post-rain hike. There's even water running down to the creek from here. That's so funny. So normally the water flows through there and then it goes under and comes out here. But as you can see today, it's overflowing, absolutely overflowing. And it's like making a stream over here and like we walk through that, it's super deep. There's like a, some spots in there that are like two feet deep that it's dug. It's insane. This is enormous! This is like a river! So, the creek back there, normally you can cross. Like in the summertime, it's only a few inches deep and like four feet across. There's no way. It looks like it's probably like six feet deep right now in the middle. Like, that's it's insane! So, needless to say, we're headed back now because we're not going for a swim in this weather. Way too cold. Um, yeah, I just, I've never seen so much water here before and all the little waterfalls is really neat.
So, overall, this hike is like great to do when it hasn't been raining because you can go further. And like in the summertime, you can swim. There's good swimming spots. If you missed that video when I came here a couple summers ago, found my favorite blue hole ever, which is right here, like on the other side of that creek that we couldn't cross. <laughs> Not much further than that. Um, that video will be linked at the end of this one. But yeah, it's also great to come after it's rain because like, I mean, all of these waterfalls. Like the sound of the water everywhere. It's beautiful. So there's pros and cons to coming when it's raining and when it hasn't rained. <laughs>